Emotional intelligence and engineer are two things that are rarely in the same sentence. I think it's incredibly important for engineers to learn emotional intelligence, and the bar is very low because not many engineers care to. As you learn emotional intelligence, so you have your four parts of emotional intelligence, you have self-awareness, self-management, empathy, and motivation, these last two, when it comes to engineering management, are incredibly important. Because if you can better empathize and learn how to motivate your team, your team can be a lot more effective. And this is even if you're an individual contributor still, or if you are in some sort of functional management. So regardless, as you want to move up the ranks in your engineering organization, you're going to start taking on leadership roles and responsibilities, even if your title does not reflect that. So learning how to have empathy with those around you, especially your direct teammates, you want to have a very good working relationship with them, and to learn how to extrinsically motivate your teammates in a way that communicates well to them and gets them on board, you can really get a lot more done. And those engineers and managers that figure out how best to network and motivate those around them with not heavy handed, you gotta get this done or you're gonna, or you're not gonna hit your KPIs and you're gonna get fired. That's not a way to get people to really fight for you. You want people to fight for you on your behalf. And you wanna also bring them up while you're getting brought up. Like this is the whole goal here. Without a level of emotional intelligence, you won't have the social intelligence to really be a top performer in your organization. I've seen a lot of people in my engineering career thus far that really have their eyes kind of closed when it comes to their emotions. This leads to a whole bunch of different negative aspects, whether it be a negative reputation that precedes them when they walk into a room, or just the fact that people can't open up around them for fear of getting their head bitten off, quite unhealthy symptoms or coping mechanisms. That's not what I want for you. I want you to learn to leverage emotional intelligence and become a more effective leadership in your engineering or technical organization. So you're gonna work on the four parts of emotional intelligence and learn how to empathize with your team members better and to learn how to motivate them. So you're going to give them a carrot to help to bring the group ahead and have a higher group output. If you're looking for exact tactical things you can do from an empathy perspective, I have a video that I'm gonna tag up here because it's quite nuanced and deserves its own video. Have you seen someone with an incredibly high emotional intelligence in your engineering or technical organization? I'd love to hear in the comments below because while I have seen a few, they are few and far between, and I want you to become one of those emotionally intelligent leaders that really pushes the boundaries forward. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.